guys. Today I'm going to take you guys along with me as I get ready for the 4th of July. I know that the 4th of July has already passed, but this look is still wearable for any day, so hope you guys enjoy. We fell in love as the leaves turn brown. So first we're just going to start off with this very summery festive makeup look. So I've already done my foundation routine which I'll link down below and I just failed. I used my e.l.f. Candid Coral Blush like always to give my skin a glow. And then I used my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Barely Branded to prime my eyes for the eyeshadow I will be using. Then I took this Clinique eyeshadow which doesn't really have a name but it's kind of just a soft champagne color and I set the cream shadow with this eyeshadow. And then I used my Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow which is my all time favorite crease color and I just put that in the crease like usual. And this brush is super super rough on my eyes so that explains this face. Then I took Urban Decay's Buck and applied this in the outer corner just kind of as a soft brown shade. And then I use my Clinique Chocolate Brown eyeshadow in the very, very outer corner to define the eyeshadow. And then, like always, we've got to blend that eyeshadow out. And then I'm using my Naked 3 palette and taking the color called Dust. And I'm applying this to my eyelids because it kind of looks shimmery like fireworks, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> then I used Maybelline's Color Tattoo. And I don't know the color, it's just like a blue color. And I applied this to my lower lash line. And then I set it with a couple blue eyeshadows from my Coastal Scents palette. And then I used my e.l.f. Gel Eyeliner, which you guys know I can't do on camera. So, woo! Let's pretend I did it on camera. And then I just curled my eyelashes and applied my Rocket Mascara because it's my favorite. Then for the lips, I'm using my Maybelline Superstay Lip Stain, um, which I love because it stays on all night. But the only thing is, it does dry out. So after the lip color dries, make sure you put on a little bit of chapstick so your lips aren't all crackly. And that is it for this super pretty makeup look. Now onto the hair, I'm doing this Bohemian braid, which you guys have requested me to do a tutorial on for a while. So. First, I'm using my Hot Tools 1 inch curling wand and I'm curling my hair. So if you have wavy hair or curly hair, just skip this step, you're fine. But if you have super straight hair like me, maybe try to curl it because I think it adds to the look. And then once I'm done, I am hair spraying it all and kind of running my fingers through it. And then teasing the top with my teasing comb because you gotta have some volume. Now what you do is pull the hair back and leave about a fourth of it down and just braid the section you're holding into a very loose kind of braid. Then I'm just securing it and pulling some hair out from the front, kind of moving it around, making it look a little more messy. And yeah, that's this very, very simple yet adorable braid. So for my outfit, um, it's not really something that you have to wear on 4th of July, you can wear it whenever. Um, but my shorts are just these maroon colored high waisted shorts from Urban Outfitters. They're very very comfy and I feel like they make me look a little tanner so yeah, it's always a plus. And my shirt's just a slight cropped shirt from PacSun. And my shoes, I've been wearing these since I bought them, um, they're just sandals from Target. I actually went to a little festival near my town where they were setting off fireworks and I used my new Polaroid camera and I had so much fun. I went with my boyfriend and my family and it was a whole lot of fun. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios amigos, XOXO, Michelle. Big smile.